Hi y'all, I'm back. Welcome to another week of my life vlog. Um, I just got back from Fort Worth this morning. I leave for Austin in St. Louis on Thursday. So we've got a couple days at home. It's Monday evening. I've just been getting work done and I just went to at home. I have so many things that I need to do. Um, and I'm procrastinating them all because I just went and got Christmas trees instead. And I decided that today, October 23rd, we are going to be decorating, not decorating the tree, we're gonna set up the trees and then we're gonna decorate them over time. I might pull out some Christmas decor boxes. I don't know. I also need to make some dinner. We'll see. I also might need another coffee. Like, there's just some things happening. Uh, but if y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. I post vlogs on YouTube every single week. I have a podcast that you can also watch on YouTube every single week. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be quite the week. How many times can I say week, guys, okay? A lot. I'm wearing this sweatset from Maritzia. Now I gotta show you my trees. So my big tree right here is gonna go right there. Also, update, I'm doing a little living room refresh. I did order all that stuff. So the tree will go right here. That's this tree. And I also got a smaller, thinner tree for this room because I wanted, like I always do, honestly, more than one tree, but I like the idea of there being a tree in Christmas decor as I'm recording the podcast, and there's obviously more space here, so I feel like it makes sense for the tree to go there, but if I put the tree there, it might be easier to record and have it there. I don't know, because my lens isn't wide enough anyways for the podcast, so I haven't figured that out. For now, the tree's gonna go there, I think, but you guys let me know what y'all think. I don't know, because at least like through there you can see it through the front. This is my first year that I'm gonna have Christmas trees or Christmas tree lights on my house because I didn't ever do it on my townhouse. And I couldn't really do it anyways. But anyways, I'm gonna unbox the trees. <laughs> this looks so cute. I can't decide if it's gonna stay here or go there. It is really thin and tall. Let me know what y'all think. All right, the tree is out. I need to fluff it better. Before anyone comments, I can already hear my mother. Okay, Fitz. Um, but I actually really like it. I was between two today. I got both of the trees from at home, so I will link them below. Um, and this one is just a little bit closer to my Pinterest inspo, which I will have here on the screen. I'm gonna do velvet ribbon bows. We're adding tinsel this year. And then I'm keeping my classic ornaments. So it's gonna be colorful and fun and almost like youthful. It's, guys, he's so obsessed with the camera lately. Like I don't even know what to do with it. I'm really happy with that. And then I love my tree over here. I can't even remember. I've been vlogging for TikTok today too, so I can't remember what I've said where, but it just looks really cute. Here's one of my wreaths that I have. This is from Target. I will link it if they still have it. I don't think they do. I don't know where my wreath like holder is. I ordered a new one off Amazon. I do need to get all my ornaments out and like start with that. I was going to wait, guys. I wasn't gonna do this until like November 1st, which is when I always put my tree up, but I'm going out of town this weekend, and then it's like Halloween, and I was like, listen, like I would rather just have them up, and then, you know, I'll have Halloween, and I'll be also be decorating my tree that day, because who cares? But I'm also not gonna have Hall weekend this year, because I'm going to visit and like literally stay with my grandparents in St. Louis, so Halloween is canceled for me this year, and I honestly don't care at all. I'm gonna show y'all while we're here, what the next product is for a friend of mine that I've been teasing, the one that we shot like two weeks ago, Fitz. Just like give me a second, okay? Some of y'all commented and guessed it, but I'm coming out with a dinner party card game. So it's dinner cards, but the cards themselves are actually like really, really nice. Like super thick, the quality is amazing. And they are so stunning. Katie Bilotti did that, thank you Katie. I'm really excited, this is a sample. And the back is wrong. Oh wait, this isn't even, this is the other sample. The URL is wrong, so we fixed it so it's shop friend of mine because we were, this is pre-launch that we were working on this and we were changing our URL. Um, but I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be such a good like Christmas gift and just great thing to have around the holidays. I am constantly, constantly bringing dinner party card games around or just like question card games to dinners. Obviously, like my friends are always requesting it. Um, so I've wanted to come out on my own for like two years and here we are, finally. So 
yeah, a friend of mine is a great Christmas gift this year. I would get it soon though because we will probably not be in stock. I'm just assuming for recipe journals in December unless we get another shipment and I don't think that we will. So I would get them now if that's your plan. Um, and then these are launching in November. I don't know right now the actual date. It'll be on the shop front of my Instagram. So anyways, I'm glad that we can talk about that um, and just get that out of the way. But when I was in Fort Worth this weekend, I was craving the chicken and dumplings that I made last week. So I need to get my recipe out actually in my recipe journal as always. Um, I'm boiling some chicken um currently this is the recipe if y'all want you can screenshot it i also have an instagram reel up um it's from the modern proper sorry my phone is going off about christmas decor with my mother so i was craving it so i'm gonna make that tonight and i do have some like editing just like random things that i'm gonna have to get done oh i also got two other things from at home which like are kind of like probably not that cute, but like something about it, I just like, they were comforting to me. So I got this cute little pink nutcracker. And then I also got this little, what do you guys call these? Like spoon holder, like what do you guys call them? Let me know. But it's a cute little Santa one. And I'm also gonna get out my um, hot coffee maker, which has been above, ooh, Above the right here, the two espressos look the same. I ordered the Emma's olives, the stuffed olives, the jalapeno, and the garlic jalapeno. They looked really good. I looked like I was crying. I was cutting onion, and it really got to me. Um, but I'm excited to try this. I love Emma. She's been on the podcast. She's just the like, nicest girl ever. We're going to do a little taste test. I've heard the like, jalapeno ones are so good. Jalapeno hot. Really good, actually. Like, so good. This is the garlic and jalapeno. Emma's another influencer, by the way. I just assumed you guys all know that, but Emma Leger, I think that's how you say your last name. They're so good. Congrats, Emma. I like, can't stop eating them. Also, gifts, now that we're, you know, in the holiday season here at my house. Great gifts for someone if they're, like, like me. Honestly, you're, like, just an adult. I feel like unique, like, olives, like, olive oil. You know what I mean? Love that. Braza, this is my favorite olive oil. It's also like really inexpensive. They also have finishing oils. It's so good, it lasts forever. Even if you're just looking for a new olive oil, um, highly recommend. In case y'all were wondering, yes, I did build this myself today. And you might be like, Kinsey, why would you ever need a clothing rack in this closet? This clothing rack was only 30 bucks, first off. Second, I needed something to have outfits planned and to pack and where I can like move it around, whatever, okay? I don't need to explain myself, even though I am. I mean, I don't feel like packing at all, so I'm not gonna be doing that today, but I would like to pick up my outfit for tomorrow. I'm going to a luncheon, if you will. I actually got invited to two luncheons tomorrow. Watch out. I'm only going to one. Um, oh, also, closet plan so in the next week i think this will be a next week thing i'm gonna move like switch over my fall and winter clothes my summer dresses are gonna go in here and then i'm gonna bring my skirts to here i think and then this is all gonna be oh i guess i'll get rid of summer tops too and it'll all be like sweaters and just like fall things i need to do like a major clean out also i've been thinking about it in like january i want to be like a really productive month of vlogs on the channel and i was listening to steph shep on stephanie shepherd on skinny confidential she was saying well i guess if i saw this on a tiktok of hers that she took photos in all of her pants and had them like printed and laminated and put them where like obviously with all of her hangers not obviously but like with all of her hangers and like that's what i need because i see pants and then i wear the same three ones because i remember how they fit and the other ones i'm like i don't know I'm like actually gonna do that. And even with like denim shorts and stuff, like I'm gonna go so crazy. Like, I oh, you know what? I'll probably wear these pants to I like a celebration of life this weekend. 
Um, I probably will wear those. They're like really nice slacks. So they're ones from All 34th that I always talk about. Oh yeah, I have these pants that I haven't worn in a while and I know that I really like them. I kind of like these weirdly and pairing them with brown. Like I am such a Sam Edelman girl. I also like haven't worn these though. I just got these. Like this and I'm kind of like really into navy these days. The high tomorrow is like 80. It's like pretty boring, honestly. It's too hot for body suits and that's where all my like, nicer tops are. Okay, I actually think I might hate this, but these with this blazer and the brown, no, I'm gonna hate it. I don't know, I'm gonna try it on because I've been liking the gray, no, actually, this with these. I think I'm gonna like it. Guys, okay, this clothing rack has already done wonders for my life. Like, I already have a couple outfits, a couple things that I pulled. I know this is the most obvious thing ever. I used to have one, too, in my townhouse, and I just... This is well worth it. Like, what was I doing? <laughs> I love this robe, but like it washes me out, you know? I wish it was this exact robe, just in a different color. Where should I get, like here's the thing, I'm working on a robe because I like live in robes. I live in like a matching pajama set, robe and slippers, but where's like, y'all's favorite robe? Because I do need one in the meantime. I have a great one from Skims, the brown one, but it's just kind of short and I like how massive this robe is. I just need like a massive, like fluffy, warm robe. I'm dying at this. I'm also dying at the fact that the tree is up. But I woke up early this morning to get some reading done, okay? Oh, you know what? I think my friend's texting me about book club. She literally said, we need to be Goodreads friends. I'll add her. Um, I only read about 14% of the book. Guys, I've been like really struggling reading the second half of the year. Like, I don't know what it is. And it's like, it's not this book. It's just, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I normally can just like sit and whatever but like I, my phone addiction has been out of control that's what it is um anyways i would have like a couple i didn't have that long to read this morning but i started the woman in me britney spears memoir okay i've been waiting for this book to come out for so long also in book news okay so i'm gonna read the josie silver like flawless um it's the chestnut is it chestnut spring series yeah um, I started that last night and everyone said that I would love it. Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I loved One Day in December. I think I read that like two or three years ago and I just loved it so much. So that's going to be perfect because, you know, we're already in Christmas winter spirit here, even though it's not actually that cold yet. Actually, the high next week I think is like 60. Anyways, I'm going to, um, get ready and go on a walk soon. That's, I think Fitz can just sense it. That's why he's so ready to go. Also, if you guys have like tips for like inflammation. Like I feel like my face is so puffy at all times. I don't even like look like myself. Like should I be drinking a certain tea before bed or something? Like I just, it's crazy. Like I just don't even look like myself. It doesn't help too when I'm like on a plane like frequently, but still. Just change into my little morning walk outfit. Here we are. This clothing rack is really like changing changing the game. Um, I'm listening to Rob Deirdrick on The Skinny Confidential for the like 15th time. This episode is, I mean, it's probably like a year ago, maybe more. I don't know. It's my favorite podcast episode ever. Those and then the ones with the Ed Milet, like episodes, I want them to do another one soon. Um, but they need to have Rob Deirdrick back on, especially like in the knee here. That'd be great for them. But it is such a good episode. If you guys haven't listened to The Skinny Confidential Rob Deirdrick episode, Y'all need to go listen. Y'all, I'm in the middle of filming a TikTok of all my favorite Abercrombie jeans or just denim in general, but I think I'm just gonna also include it in this vlog. What you doing, girl? I'm gonna link everything. I wear a size 28 to 29, depending on the jeans. These are more casual. I like that they have this like slit here. I wear these with like sweaters, Uggs, cowboy boots, like just like, a lot more casual. So these are definitely my all-time favorite Abercrombie jeans. I've actually bought like three of them because I, lo I thought I lost them and I just found them one day. Anyways, these are, I'm totally blanking on the name. I'll have them linked below, but they're perfect for heels. They're also really great for cowboy boots. 
I don't really wear them with like Uggs as much. I mean, I wear them with everything, honestly, just because they're a little bit longer, but they're great with cowboy boots because they're like a little bit of a heel. The best, most flattering jeans ever. I love them. These are the loose high rise. Again, heels, I know. It feels like you're wearing pajamas and they are perfect. Y'all, and then we have this denim skirt. I know it's getting a little like colder out, so it's not like we can really wear this, but I have an outfit like pictured. So I just got the matching denim jacket I ordered and it's not in yet. I'm gonna wear tights like black tights these heels the jacket and a turtleneck neck underneath and it's gonna be perfect like an everything of the sort you know so anyways i'm gonna link it just in case maybe it does get it stays warmer you are or even honestly it's just worth it for next year like it is the most perfect best denim skirt you could ever possibly wear it's so good honestly really enjoyed filming that i feel like i need to start doing more like topical videos or even just tiktoks of like random favorites and whatnot because like in my closet i mean first off i have the most insane closet i need to be using it but i'm not kidding pretty much all of this is skims a couple of things i mean there's definitely a ritzy in here mainly skims and then all almost all of this is abercrombie i just have very specific things that i like obviously all my boots i have so many pairs of heels i have so many things a lot of this um, stuff i'm giving to my niece this week but i don't know i just want to be making videos like that that are like more helpful like i like i prefer to just share my everyday life with y'all like in the vlogs i have been really like in my head about youtube i think the past like six months and i will keep saying this and i feel like no one's even on youtube anymore i feel like it really is just tiktok so then i'm like am i like wasting my time like should i just be making daily tiktok vlogs which i also really love doing like i genuinely love making a daily tiktok vlog this is like so stupid but it is part of my job um but i don't know like what do y'all think like do you want more youtube videos or are you putting more effort in like i could really go all out or should we just do tiktok like what what do you guys want what do y'all prefer i'm assuming you're watching on youtube there's a lot of you that prefer youtube but like i just i can't decide this closet is already doing amazing things for me okay i have my little light here this by the way from dulce or is it by rosie jane this perfume it was my pr sack it smells so good kind of reminds me of the like coconut perfume from urban outfitters growing up that i was obsessed with like the coco de la whatever it's raining right now but i ended up loving the outfit i put together last night i know this vlog has mainly been in my in my closet but i'm obsessed like i love it everything of the sort is exactly what i needed feeling great going to this luncheon and then we're coming home and getting some things done. But I do need to get some editing done before we head out. Just been working on podcast stuff. If y'all have podcast requests, that's guests in solo episodes, topics, anything that you guys want, especially in the next two months, because I want, like, ideally my winter episodes to be, like, cozy, and I feel like you just want them to be more, like, chit-chat cute and then january will be like routines goals all those things and also leave those requests anyways um this jacket came in that matches my abercrombie denim skirt and it's kind of perfect it's like not that big like i would like it they only had a medium i would like a large but they were out of stock and i feel like this is kind of perfect for like that denim skirt like turtleneck neck underneath you know like i don't need to have everything like so massive. Macy's coming over later and we're just gonna have a night of just planning. We really gotta get it together. I feel like when I, I'm not like emotionally or mentally in a funk now. I'm not even in a funk, I just like wanna plan. Just, you know, get on top of things. Like I, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit more like inspired. So I really wanna just like take advantage of it. Uh, but update, I am fully out of the emotional funk. I think that I've been in. I've been in such a good mood. Like, such a good mood. Tudo que restou. So, listening to Rob Gujar this morning, I'm just getting confidential. Yeah. Hi. I swear, Macy, he does this new thing where he is the second that I start filming, mm -hmm. he comes up. Was he paying any mind to me earlier? Up until the right this very second? No, exactly. He knows. Hi. Okay, guys, Macy and I are having a meeting. What are we calling this meeting? Powwow. I think we should do a different name. Okay. That okay. one just didn't feel right. Okay, whatever you'd like. Mm, I was thinking you'd have a better one. Powwow. 
Okay, we're having powwow. Thank you, they're gonna love it. Comment if you love it. <laughs> Guys, also, sorry, Macy's not over, it's actually Picasso. Guys, um, my dad's really artistic. And look what he sent me because so cute. If you guys saw Kenzie's last vlog, I'm in my painting era. My dad was like, "You should experiment with markers." So he sent me some from Amazon. If you guys are interested, DM me. I can send you the link. My dad's tried all the markers, and I'm trying out some different, you know, different designs. Oh, so cute! I didn't even notice that that's what you were writing. I did New York. I did my signature. If anyone wants the sheet, just let me know. Oh, totally. I mean, that signature probably costs millions. Yeah, and then I have this new custom design that I'm working on. <laughs> So let me know. Foi um sentimento e a fotografia tudo que ficou. Good morning, y'all. I'm obsessed with the tree in the background. I'm about to go work out. I had quite the morning here. I've actually been liking a later workout and like reading, getting things done in the morning. Coco's barking. Okay, so gear of our set, Princess Polly coat, Fendi bag, Reebok shoes. I'm going to work out and then I have to film something at Irby. I do need to stop at North Park. I don't know if I'm going to have time. Today is my day with my niece this afternoon. So I'm picking her up early from school and that's my priority. So anyways, we're heading off. I'm on like a big Tate McRae kick too. I love Tate. Literally, honestly, the only music I listen to is country. Um, but like some Tate, some Olivia Rodrigo, you know? Guys, look who's back. Hi. So if I wanted to show you the sunglasses that I got. Okay. This is where I was before I picked you up. We're going oh, no. to the pumpkin patch. It was raining, we had a lot of drama on our plans. So we're going to the pumpkin patch, and then we're going to Five Below. And then we're gonna go see Hocus Pocus. Yes, and I can't wait for the movie theater. Okay, so I got new sunglasses from Sunglass Hut. I wanna show you them. Okay, we're gonna close my eyes oh. before I look at it. Okay. Okay, open your eyes. Those are cute. Cute, and look at the side. Cute, wow. right? It kinda has like an S. Mm-hmm. Kinda on the side. That's well, cute. Yeah, it does. Versace. That's that is why really cute. And then I got these two, and these are a little bit more subtle. I think I might wear these today. You can help me pick them out. <laughs> these are her soul, and that's how you say them. Ooh. But they're brown. I like those. And they're just like a little bit more like minimal. I like that. These? Okay, I'll wear these. I can't wait to eat food at the movie theater. Like Your I'm, popcorn is so buttery. I love the yeah, buttery I popcorn. Put, I want to put butter everywhere. Same. Yeah, the whole I thing. do. That's what I always do. I love buttery popcorn. It's Me my too. favorite. Me too. Do you ever put the cheese on the popcorn? With the powders? Yeah, but my parents don't really let me. Well, today we can. Yay! Yay! That's my favorite thing. That is. You're with your them. aunt today. You can do the fun things. Yeah, I always ask my parents if I can go. But they're like, if I can get some, but they're like, no, and I'm like, what? I'm sure that it's just because they don't like it. <laughs> and that's probably what it is. So, uh -huh. so we're going to the pumpkin patch. So, if you haven't been in a vlog in a long time, mm -hmm. we haven't. And I'm wearing her beanie. Mm-hmm. And show them your new hat. Huh? You oh, can yeah. show them your new hat. You I picked stuff up from school today, and I felt like such a suburban mother. It was like everything. Oh yeah, see, so cute. Aww. Okay. And this is the bag that she gave me. Oh yeah, I gave her some PR. Stylish girl. Girls day. Girls day. I got love. I'm back home. It's now 8:30. I got so many packages while I was gone, guys. You can't even see them all. It's all for the living room makeover. And honestly, I think everything is here besides the chair. So stay tuned for my next vlog. Going to do a massive closet clean out and I'm switching over my fall clothing and it's just gonna be like a really fabulous experience. Like I'm really looking forward to this. I got a new pair of Uggs for the season. The ones I've been wearing have been really trash. Besides these are actually fine. I actually have not had a pair of the platform Uggs 
and which is crazy because I wear Uggs every single day, I know. Um, and they came in at the perfect time because I'll be wearing them this weekend. Okay. Oh, okay. Hi. 